uh, yeah, let's go to my Black Friday purchases. Uh, this one has three Project Gotham Racing games. And uh, the fourth game in this list, The Last of Us for PS3, I don't have anymore. Because I traded it in. Um, the Last of Us was $15 and the rest were $5 each. And I also had the Black Friday uh, discount, so $10 off. So it came down to uh, $20 plus tax. So that was interesting. Um, Let's see. Project Gotham Racing 4 for the original uh, Xbox 360. I do apologize that you can't really see that well on the camera here. I am going to be upgrading my webcam to uh, a better quality one with full screen instead of uh, like that so I got my I got the most wanted 05 BMW M3 GTR in the background on the side so there's that but yeah got Project Gotham Racing 2 there's four there's three which is the game of the year with the cover Yep, all original covers, all got the complete. And as you would expect, I completed the Project Gotham Racing series 1 to 4 with the first one as well. And because the spine of the cover is black, it kind of blends in with the black paste a lot more. <laughs> so this is pretty interesting. But yeah, it's also complete with stuff on the inside as well. So there you go. So yeah, I got Fletcher Cotton Racing 1, 2, 3, and 4. So got that one finished. All right, next one. On the next one here is interesting because we got a couple of new things here. First one up is a sealed game, $22.50 on sale. A sealed PlayStation 2 game, Final Fantasy X2. Well, <laughs> so much for that. Uh, I can't really move. I got stuff blocking on everything. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Without slipping out of my fingers. Alright, there you go. Got the back. And yes, it is still sealed. You can still see the wrapping. Yeah. This is uh, pretty interesting. I've never played this game before, but on uh, Xbox Game Pass, you can uh, play the um, remastered edition or whatever. I think it was remastered. And it has X and X-2, two games. And you can play them on the uh, Xbox One or Xbox Series or PlayStation 4. So you can play them there as well. So I'm going to be keeping this sealed. Um, yeah, I would like to see what's inside, but uh, a lot of the old stuff, you don't really find a lot of sealed ones. So this was a nice find and I was able to get that. But there's another PS2 sealed one in this box as well. So we'll get to that in a bit. Um, Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. Yes, I got this one on sale, twenty-two fifty as well. However, when I got this game, it was not the Xbox 360 version. For some stupid reason, they sent me the PlayStation 2 version. PS2. Why? 
it specifically said in the order Xbox 360, but they sent me a PS2. I don't know why. So they said I was able to keep the PS2 one, but I did eventually sell it. And I went down to the store and I got this. So all is good in the world with that. So there you go. I like uh, the SmackDown vs. Raw series. Um, the new ones are not really as good as the SmackDown vs. Raw or the 4 series. So there's that. Alright, are you ready for another Game Boy Advance complete? I hope you are. We got Crash Bandicoot Super Pack 2 in 1. Crash 2 Entranced and Crash Nitro Kart. So this one was interesting. This is the uh, worst condition box. This was a C B minus, I think. Yep, B minus with the manual. So at least it had the manual as well. The box, uh, for the most part, is uh, the bottom of the box is clean. Uh, the back of it is clean. Well, a part of the indent, apart from the indent there. The top is a little bent there. But yeah, it's still in great condition. Um, as long as there's no rips and tears in the box, then I'm happy with it. Um, we got the game right there. Unfortunately, it comes on one cartridge for two games. So much like Rayman 10th Anniversary on Game Boy Advance, it has Rayman Advance, Rayman 1 Advance, and uh, Rayman 3 on one cartridge. The same thing here, basically. And it comes with the manual and uh, the health booklet. However, in this one, it's uh, not really as descriptive because you got one page written for class two right there. And then on the next page is a very short description of Nitro Kart. So, yeah, mu not much in there, but at least it did come with the manual stuff, so all is good in the capella hood. So yeah, that was uh, pretty cool. I got, got that one as well. When you're getting a uh, complete box for Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Nintendo 64, you generally, and SNES and before, you generally want to get protective sleeves to uh, help protect the box. So there's that, set the hell up. And yeah, that's basically it there. Um, I know you can't really see it because I've got a bright light over there to help illuminate better, and I've got the outside light, so. All right, uh, this one, the next strategy guide that I got was something that I found interesting that it was available. And it's for one of my favorite games. And I bet this game in this series is uh, a lot of people's favorite in the series. Paper Mario, the, the bent year door. <laughs> no, the thousand year door. Yep. You wanna know how much this son of a bitch cost me? Huh? You wanna know? 100 bucks. For this. Yeah. The most expensive strategy guide that I got so far. There was another one that I got that came close, but this is the most expensive so far. Don't fold under pressure. And yeah, it's got official maps, it's got a very detailed walkthrough, full colored maps, comprehensive appendices, appendices for every badge, star piece, and assigned sprite in the game. This is a very nice official guide from Nintendo Power. So this is a Nintendo Power strategy guide. Um, official guide from Nintendo Power. I know you can't really see it, but... Uh, I think that's the only Nintendo Power one I have. The rest are from Prima, Official, or whatever. Um, and yep, the second PS2 uh, sealed copy. 
I think a lot of you would uh, like this one more than the Final Fantasy X2. I don't know. And I bet you're going to be surprised that this was still sealed. Because you would find a lot of copies available. Gran Turismo 4. Still sealed in the packaging. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yep. Gran Turismo 4 still in wrapping. This one was more expensive though. This one was sixty-seven fifty. so. Yeah, but it's still sealed. I'm going to be getting an, uh, another copy of this, which is cheap, like 10 bucks. That I can use and play and keep this one sealed, so. There's that. It's pretty cool that I got two of these PS2 games sealed. I do have one more sealed PS2 game, though. And that's interesting. And I got it recently. And that... On a... On a... Uh, game that I didn't think you would find sealed these days. Much like Grand Theft Auto 4 is Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Still sealed in the casing. Yep. This was interesting. This was $50, but I found, I got this at another store, not the store that I found these ones in. So I found it interesting that this one was available for in sealed. So I got this. I got Sly Cooper 1 and Sly 3. Um, I got the whole Sly collection on PS2. This one is the only one sealed though. So there's that. Alrighty. So that's that. I'm going to stop this one here and maybe cut some stuff and make it a little shorter later.